The following game has been rated T for teen by the ESRB for alcohol reference, blood and gore, crude humor, suggestive themes, and violence. What that means is anyone under the age of 13 should not be watching this video. You have been warned. Greetings and salutations, I am Outlier, and I bid you welcome to this channel. Joining me today is, of course, my usual co-hosts, Snowball and Wolf. And today we're going to be playing Overlord 2. No, this is not overcooked. Well, this is a game where you basically play as the evil overlord and command your minions in a, uh, in I guess you could call it a tactical combat. Yes, this was originally for the Xbox 360. Because I used to play it on that console... A little bit any of it anyway and um, I always enjoyed it always kept thinking about going back to it and when I found out that it was backwards compatible I installed it on the Xbox one Well, yes, there's that, too. No, what's strange is the fact that it was available through Games for Gold a couple of months ago, I believe, and it's backwards compatible through downloads from the Microsoft Store, but my actual disc uh, that has the actual game still on it uh, wasn't backwards compatible. But I digress. So the premise of the game, as I was telling my co-hosts here, uh, is that you are an overlord of uh, the underworld. And now that I think about it, I'm not entirely certain you're actually evil, but uh, you do go around conquering other people, but they're not exactly benevolent, nice people. And you do so by raising an entire army of minions. You do lead from the front. You're not a king, you're a warlord. And, um... You are basically the most powerful weapon in your arsenal, uh, but you have minions to serve as uh, extra uh, muscle, um, they carry your things. Yes, they do that too. And I have enjoyed a uh, little I have actually played of it. This game is of course made by...
Thank you again. And uh, that being said, let us begin. Once upon a time, there was an ending. And we minions searched high and low for a new overlord. We were like fleas without a dog, maggots without a carcass, pimples without a face. Winter's Eve, in the town of Nordberg, we found a beginning. My pa says that he was found outside Nordberg's gates. Don't come near me! So this is basically a little tutorial to explain exactly how the controls are, because that's how games are. Snowman, yeah! Master would know how to smash snow thingies. No, oh, 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 hit them snowy men, Master. All right, so clearly we're not jumping down through there. You destroyed our snowmen. Well, they are the throwing snowballs. Bully. Said the person who's throwing snowballs. I have no idea where those rockets are going. Good, good. Gloob likes. Gloob likes. I think you is the master. I do. I do. Control us, master. And now we get minions. And now we have an army. Stay away, nasty boy! Mommy! He said his demons on me! Again, you're the one throwing snowballs. You think you're so smart. And now the minions are on fire. Stay out. Hey, where am I going? Back this way. One of them's not wearing either a snowball or a pot. I can't be certain. I'm lost. He has one minion's just gonna sit, uh, sit there. Look, bunnies. And now I'm guessing they're food. There's some hope on their food. Hey, you witch boy! I see you, demon child. Stop that floating about! You trying to make old Nev sick? You ain't getting in here. 
Well, you ain't getting in there. Hey, I'll show you the way. No witch boys with your funny eyes. And no demons. Go wobble about someplace else. Push. I know where they've gone. Oh, she's the one nice person in the entire town. This is ours! You're mean. One day he'll make you pay. Over here! Don't come in here. Don't be mean. Stay back, weirdo. It's Midwinter's Eve. Be nice. We're armed! You're just scared of him. Over here! Ha <laughs> ha! That'll teach ya! This is his home too, you know. Did we get him? Did we get him? Don't listen to them. Stay out! You're all big free cats. There we go. Let's see, can we use the rocket to blow up the floor? I like him. Over here. I'm guessing they throw snowballs to take to uh, up the fuse. That they do. Okay. So I guess I do have to use the minions to Stop that. Take them out. This is ours, bunch of bullies. Over here. Don't come in here. Play nice. You ain't coming in, witch boy. This is his home too, you know. Over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at you! Don't listen to them. Okay, Maybe I see what I gotta hold do. Hands later. I guess if I listened actually listen to Kellendra. He's breaking through! Kind of them to tell me where they're planning on hiding. I'm guessing we light this rocket on fire. That opens up that area. And then uh, we just charge on through. Get inside! Quick! You'll never find us in here. Oop, going. Read the place. The demons have found us. Get off me. Don't take that. They're smart. Hey, he's got my coat. I don't think they're going to be bothering you anymore. Alright, now we sold their clothes, so... Oh. I'm guessing they're in a state of undress? I have a question. All the sweet to make yourself sick. If I only stole five kids worth of clothes, why are there now like a dozen minions? Ten minions. Where'd the other five come from?
Now behave yourselves. No, we will. Bad behavior is still behavior. Guess we go up this way. Excuse us. In here, these are highly flammable and have to be handled by a professional. Oh, I'm as close professional as possible. Maybe they're just overtired. Oh, the tree's all lit up now. And uh, now something's hey, happening. Let's take a look. Come on, I guess let's walk. the minions are busy. Empire! Empire! Hey, let's take a look. I'm too pretty to talk. Bring out your magic users, Nordberg, so they may be cleansed. In the name of the Empire and your new governor, Boreas. We have no magic users here. We are simple people of the land. Do not lie. The Sentinels have spoken. Surrender your magic users or we will cleanse your whole town if necessary. Well, well maybe we do have one. Form up. Don't let him get through. Keep together, lads. Follow! Follow! Come, come! A master would follow! This way! And now we run a away like a... Uh, this way! Badass. Charge So this for a supposed little kid, he's actually quite skilled in combat. Taking on fully grown consuming the legionnaires. Still winning. so often we just pick up more and more minions. They look like they're fighting somebody. Look! Our master would find a way to break it. I followed the minions. I mean, I've just followed the path. Charge! Fire 
Dark Empire Shinies! Crush those Shinies! Big Shiny, no shine! So much for them. Of course, now here comes the Legion. And of course, we miss. Escape now! Hit fire! Go to Minion Burrows! Yeah! Minion Burrows! Yay! And again. There we go. And one more just for fun. them forth. going in the right direction. This looks like another rock bear, so I'm assuming there's a uh, means of getting through Explains why I don't remember him. And uh, we sing. Yes, all many things. Oh, Lord, you say this is the last hope for evil. He's a little short. Whoa. Destroyed an entire legion. Bodies, screams, minion carnage. Ooh, that is good news. Fire up the dragon! Seems to be that guy. The boy needs a proper evil upbringing. 
And whilst evil was nurtured in the bowels of the earth, in its absence came the rise of a new age, a new power. And thus began the reign of the glorious empire. Everyone was happy. And those who weren't were killed, enslaved, or had other nasty things done to them. Now it's your good, time, Master. Time to crush the party. Time to crush the empire. Time to bring back the flag. And loose the minions of war. Because evil always finds a way. It's also a matter of perspective. Here he comes, the master. Oh, the master, the master. We'll see. That's correct, Ross. He must be tested. Our beetle is tested by the dung pile. Follow, follow. They certainly have some interesting alliterations. Those Nordberg wings go right at my nethers, so I'll stay here. Your helmet will allow me to hear and see what you do. Think he's smart enough to get it? It might he ain't. Me beg free. And now years have passed, we're fully grown. The first test is a test of strength. He who would be a true overlording master. We managed to find an old friend of yours. He's been on ice for quite a while. Who's <laughs> a yeti? Yetis are relatively gentle creatures and extremely hardy. Nature's training dummies. At your current level, you can bash him around for hours and he'll hardly feel a thing. And he's okay with that? No room quaver! <laughs> Find own pit! Savages! No appreciation of true art! We can! No! He may be a touch indelicate, but use your minions to whack that wall of fur! <laughs> Good now. Sneaky beast, find a way for your minions to reach the creature. Now sweep them over. Him. Oh, he who would make a most foreboding dark master. <laughs> Be gone, you beast, and make it fast. For if you don't, we'll kick your ass. That is not how you treat friends. Wandered off! Oh, you should catch up with him in the hunting grounds. <laughs> the place is bursting with life force, both hunters and the hunted. You should gather plenty of it to support the minions needed to build your dark tower. If we add extra lights, does that mean it's no longer dark? Welcome to the test of life force gathering. Yeah, fluffy rats, see? Poor fishy. Dice, many furball. 
Now the hunt begins. Show who's top of the food chain. And now we hunt little baby seals. Those glowing orbs are life force. Gather them and they'll collect in the netherworld, allowing you to summon more minions from the gates. Because apparently that's a thing. Minion gate for master! Ah, there you are! This is Grubby, sire. He's a minion digger. Digger can tunnel out of the netherworld and create minion gates in certain areas. They're drawn to your evil presence like flies to a festering corpse. Ah, ah newborn minions. Summon enough to fill your maximum horde size. The rest will start on the construction of your dark tower. And now we go seal hunting, I guess. I mean, there are food. The minions gotta eat, I guess. Seems the Yeti's rather fond of those disgusting bowls of fluff. You'd better find a way of discouraging him. Ah, you can put your training into practice. Make sure you get all the life force in the area. You can replenish your horde from the minion gate, sire. So our maximum horde size right now is 15. Hey, where did you come from? I got a permit from the Empire to hunt on these lands. This is my Yeti. I saw it first. Get lost! Really? He's a goner. Looks like our friend has forged a path ahead. Are we going on life force or do I still have to keep hunting seals? Apparently I still need to keep hunting things. Not even halfway yet. What's this way? Oh, look, more seals. Life force. Ooh, find a way to get into that area. No walrus. Apparently, it was still alive. Interesting. Guessing that's what the, this area is for now. Flatter those igloos, or you'll be overrun with hunters. I mean, life force is life force, I guess. Your 
minions on that wheel. Let's get the wolves first, I guess. Where we go, I guess? Oh look, this is an area of peace. It was an area of peace. What do you think you're doing? Cease this barbaric slaughter at once! I am Florian Greenheart, and these are the soldiers of the sanctuary. Valiant protectors of the sanctuaries and all creatures of magic and nature. Soldiers, so he should be easy to kill. Savage. Protect the fluffy ones! Terrible elf. Well, that's what happens when you spend too much time hugging things, sire. Perhaps all he needs is a hug. And they're gone. And now we feed. You'll need to harvest all the life force here, sire. And now we have all the life force that we need. Looks like our friend has forged a path ahead. Continue to camp and find out what that Yeti's up to. Yay, Kim! Don't forget, we still need a spell stone to give the Netherworld a bit of a kick in the pants. Mm, those elves are magical. I wonder if they've got something knocking about in their sanctuary that would do the trick. Said food is food. I'm going to collect this stuff, but I got to actually walk clean through it. Yes, I do. Okay. Which way am I going now? This way, I guess. Not. Well, I could go this way. Everybody else could. Still maxed out on minions, so Is anybody not mounted. Let's knock all this down, and all this for that matter. Where'd we go? And attack! I wonder what they were cooking. Yeah, 
The minions aren't the only one who needs zeal. I guess we didn't fully destroy the city. Now we have. Where are we going? This way, I guess. No, it's hopeful for getting lost when the path is linear. Do you remember that place, sire? It's Nordberg, the sleepy, snowy little town that was going to hand you over to the Empire. They did hand me over. And uh, now they're throwing spears. Well, they were throwing spears. Now, not so much. We take out all the encampments. Anybody else? Yes, no, maybe. Kind of sort of possibly. Look, another burrow. And so the elves return. Hmm. He's not looking quite so gentle anymore. In fact, he looks rather peeved. Let's leave all this bad problem behind us, man. It's apparently there's a uh, force field protecting them. We've gone too far this time, man. Okay, so now what do we do? Light magic must always have a place in this world! Don't doubt it. Oh, you're giving off bad vibes. And now, for whatever reason, they just said... But our minds rise to a higher spiritual plane. Attack! Let's see, for some reason they decided to leave their shields behind. I guess the Yeti jumping into the barrel. Drag down the infidels! Down. Easy, man. Hey, are fighting us, her? He's just fighting us. The fluffy ones are friends, not fodder. Match 
Okay, All one of them. Needs is a hug. the Eddie doesn't look like it no no stop this at once this noble beast belongs with us come here come here boy as if we magical folk didn't have enough problems of our own with the Empire without the likes of you trying to expunge us now let us away set sail for the sanctuary We should follow them, sire. If only we had the swimming abilities of the Blue Minions. Oh well, it looks like we'll have to find another way into this sanctuary of theirs. And now that tree is gone. Where trees gone? Looks like someone has been logging this area, Gloob. I wonder why. For wood? What else do you log things? Yes, but... We've got a breach man! Attack! Attack! This isn't that kind of log. won't follow you into certain areas, sire. And like all primitive beasts, these wolves are afraid of fires. Don't worry, they'll still be here when you come back. Alright, so there's some places Calvary doesn't go. Good to know. And we found the sanctuary cave. I guess it's not all that... I have a warm oil bath and a large plate of quail's eyeballs to attend to. Of course, Boreas. I thought you'd like to meet some of the brave men who secured the magical creatures from the, uh, area. And these are the lucky ones. What's up with you, Maximus? No, I wanted to call me Miss Trixieville Buttercup Fairy. Uh, are you serious? And you could all come and visit me when I move in, <clears throat> in into my mushroom house. SIC Species Identity Crisis. It's a terrible thing. We have no idea what this is, but it was well guarded. Well, make sure it doesn't eat anyone, and then bring it to my town hall. Foolish fat human, that's a spellstone, sire. It unlocks the magical potential of any who possess it. Better not let it fall into Boreas's pudgy hands. Right. Kill everybody, take the stone. to the best as it 
coin for, I wonder. I forget. But uh, probably best if we just grab all of it. Take him out. Welcome to the sanctuary, creature of magic. No, do not let this barbarian in, Dryad. He is an enemy to all that is fluffy and adorable, like this poor fellow here. Don't worry, Lord. I'm sure you'll find a way to bypass that pesky plant person. Yeah, I'm assuming we go this way. This looks like a shard of netherworld rock. Perhaps it will become active once the netherworld accepts you as its true overlord. I don't know what happened here, but their loss is our gain. Quick, pick up that spellstone! As soon as Grubby can build a gate, you can send it back to the netherworld. Uh, where'd it go? <laughs> he said that spellstone we stole belongs to the gnomes! If he didn't steal it, it's legal side. He's either declaring war, or he wants to marry you to his pet dormouse. That's clearly an act of aggression, sire! It cannot be tolerated. Exterminate those squeakers! That's one way, I guess. Kill <laughs> a thousand gnomes? This may take forever. Plus, we should be getting a whole pile of life force, so... Get that spellstone back to the netherworld, Dark One! Guess I'm going this way. So I guess we don't need to kill a thousand gnomes right now. It's just a side quest. <laughs> what are we doing? We did, and I just got turned around. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess we're supposed to have gone this way. Ah, Nordberg. 
Maybe 13 winters have passed since you were last there, sire. Soon you will return, once more on the feasting of Midwinter's Eve, to finish what you started. Revenge is a dish best served cold and screaming. This is where I started a snowball fight. Okay, so what's this thing? Of course, now I got all my minions carrying things. Okay, so which way do I go now? This way, I guess. Maybe. Is there a uh, map? You find another roll gate to commit the spell zone. You have to kill a thousand gnomes. You have to travel to another location to complete this task. Okay. So I have no idea what the glowing red thing is. Oh, maybe we do go this way. If I can get around them. can't summon more because my maximum is, uh, well, I've hit the maximum. So we're back where we started? Oh, I'm all, I'm all manner of confused. Okay, so we got both of these things now. What do I do with them? Maybe we cross this bridge. And 
Governor Boreas said he wanted stuffed winter at the Midwinter Space. Aha! Grubby has managed to bring you a Netherworld Gate Master. This will allow your minis to transport the Spellstone straight to the Netherworld. Look at all that evil energy surging into you, Lord. I don't quite know what spell it's unlocked within you, Zaya. If you run into some townsfolk, do feel free to use them as test subjects. Ah, sound the alarm! Ah, a command upgrade. You can summon more minions to the battlefield now. Get back here. Ah, Grovelins. Clearly the stones unlocked the evil presence spell. They're now bound to your evil will. But if you'd held the spell for longer, you'd have killed them outright. Enslavement or death, domination or destruction. These are the great overlording choices, sire. I'd rather have them as minions. You can use these humans to your advantage, Lord. Release your evil presence spell earlier, and they'll become your slaves instead of piles of dust. That would be nice to know beforehand. So I secured what? Four villagers? Three villagers? Ended up killing one by accident. Get back here. Serve me repeatedly, sire, like minions. But if you get bored, you can always kill them. There seem to be running all of them on MPs. Guess that's what this thing is for. You must restrain yourself, Master. The peons have set fires outside Nordberg to ward off their midwinter's demon. We'll need to find our red meals before we can enter. Then we'll really give them something to fear. Okay, so where are the red minions? Ah, nothing like a bit of cannon fodder, Lord. They're too annoying. Don't be afraid, just smite them. I'm guessing what we need is past there. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, they lift the tree on fire. So, like, there's now random villagers just here. Like, they know this area is under attack.
that's the bridge that I came from. I mean, it doesn't look like they're gonna let me send the, uh, humans through. Back to the thing, I guess. You've got a health upgrade, sire. They need a lot less messy deaths. Okay. But how does that get me through the massive fire? select the minions. Go it alone. I guess that's one way. Let's see if I can walk through the fire. Close enough to mind control. So the big question is, what am I missing? I mean, that's how I get into town. Which means this is probably the way I need to go. Spell to kill the villain. Oh, it to be these guys then, I guess. If you need to swell your rank, sire, you can release your easy presence spell earlier and subdue these peons instead. You can create your own human shield master if you subdue the peasants rather than killing them. Just don't channel your evil presence spell for so long. See what I was doing. I guess we go back to the netherworld. What if we keep the people in tow? The netherworld has accepted you as its master! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Do calm down, Quaver. We don't want another accident. You are indeed our true overlord. It's somewhat of a relief, sire. 
We didn't want to have to bury another candidate. Master! That make me worried. Talk Together, about another candidate. Power it's a little on the cavernous side at the moment, but now you're properly here, you can start to refurbish and expand the tunnel system. This will allow us access to other areas of the world where you can establish your new dark domain. I feel a small poem has called for to commemorate the event. Oh dear, he's off again. <coughs> there was a boy from the Northburg town who sent the locals screaming. But now the boy's become a man. He'll start his evil scheming. Sorry about that, sire. Sometimes there's no stopping him. Believe me, I've tried. This is your throne, sire. And it's not just a place to rest your evil posterior. You can teleport around your domain from here. And it will also alert you about recent events and quests. Why don't you try it out? And then let me know if you'd like to take a tour. And now we are overlord. Of... All of this. Oh joy. Oh goody. Is there more of it? What's this one? The natural laws are a little bit flexible here in the netherworld. Okay. Ah, so good to get the smell of evil around the place. What do these things do? I guess nothing for right now. Apparently there's an upper floor. Okay. of always. What's this this cavern will be your private quarters, Master. It is traditional in overlording circles to find oneself a mistress or several. Keep an eye out for a suitable candidate. You know, something to make the room look pretty and to waft about the place. I'm quite partial to a bit of wafting. Right, got it. This is your Find magic some. room, sire. By collecting spell stones and catalysts, you can expand your magical powers. Magic is clean, carnage, sire. No wear and tear on your weapons. Not so many entrails lodged in your armor. Shall we check you... your magic? Where are you behind me? How'd you get in front? Okay, so... We have spell upgrades. Make sure you keep an eye out for catalysts, sire. For such large artifacts, they're always getting themselves lost. You can see how strong your spells are and what you need to upgrade them. This looks like I got access to three spells, Although target... Not spells themselves, catalysts can be used to upgrade your power, sire. Which is probably the one that I've been using, one called Minion and another called Hit. Spell upgrades are permanent, so choose wisely, Lord. No getting angry and trying to kick me through the wall. I have a feeling somebody tried to do that to him. What's this thing? Alright. Glowing lantern thing. Got it. So 
So if this is the private chambers, where's the fridge? Or, you know, some place to sleep. Maybe a nice gaming rig set up. You know, that sort of thing. I guess that gets pulled later. I guess that's it for now. The only two other triangles uh, look like we're dead ends for now. So at the throne interface, we sit our butt down. I guess this is the land. So we have various quests. We have a Nornbergian quest and audience, learn more about the foundations, learn more about Ma uh, Minion Burrows. So have regions and gates, which we haven't unlocked any yet. Let's learn more about minion burrows. Which area would you like to inspect, sire? Perhaps the minion burrows? Very good. Follow me, master. Burrows are believed to be the birthplace of the first minion. He who dug his way to the surface to serve the very first overlord. After we lost our last master, and before the great cataclysm decimated the old lands, we retreated here in the Exodus. Here we remain, searching for our next bastion of evil. Minion Mortis is in charge. That is to say, he facilitates your decision, sire. Wants new minions, tends the souls of the dead, make sure they don't come back with the wrong head, that sort of thing. Minions, we live, we serve, we die. Aren't you guys supposed to be yellow and have a thing for bananas? So this is the brown minion barracks. These are all my brown minions. I apparently have 138 brown the minions. So where minions live when they're not out causing chaos with you, sire. It's also where we keep the hives, which allow minion summoning. Unfortunately, during the exodus, several minion hives were lost. We only managed to retain the browns. I'm sure they'd love a visit. And apparently every minion has their own level. Apparently everybody has a title. At least those that have been used have a title. Everybody else just simply goes by the new one. I'm guessing if I actually, if any actually die, this is where I go revive them. If memory serves, it just requires more minions. Allows me access to the higher level ones. I don't believe I can actually choose which ones I actually summon. This damp spot is reserved for the blues. Their magical inclination meant they felt most lost without an overlord to guide them. They retreated to the nearest watery area. Strange fellows. We have no idea what's happened to them. That's where another type of minion would be. Upgrades to collect, sire. So, is this where we keep the upgrades? Maybe, maybe not. It's this one. Oh, red Mortis misses the reds. He used to let them roast rats on his side. They were lured away by wisps, dark creatures. He believed they're living in a volcanic area nearby. 
Alright, so we have to go look at a volcano for uh, the red minions, a watery area for the blue minions. We have brown, and I believe there is one other kind of minion. And no, it's not that kind of minion. That's right, Mortis. Browns are your main melee fighters due to their attitude of hit first, jump up and down on the carcass later. That sounds fair. Do you see dead minion, sire? This is the graveyard. You can view your recently deceased minions in the temple and resurrect your favorites. But life has a price. Life for death. Death. Indeed, Mortis. If you wish to resurrect a fallen minion, you need to sacrifice minions of the same color. The price must be paid. Death for life. So I'm guessing that's Mortis. And this is where I go to resurrect the fallen now minions that I want see to me soon, master. But I haven't lost any yet, so there's none to resurrect. And this is just a dead end. I guess we go back and uh, look at the other area. Alright, so that explains what these little circle thingies are for. We're a little bit flexible. World? Step onto the rock, sire. It's probably safe. I mean, perfectly safe. From here, you can travel to the other areas of the netherworld. This is Construction Minion Giblet, sire. He's overseeing the construction of a new Dark Tower. This is Minion Mortis. He oversees the life and death of the minions in the spawning pit. Step onto the floating rock, sire. Okay, so where do we go from here? as long as I have. This forge builds weapons and armor here, but need ready to power me. Minion Jibit ready to receive orders. This is where we build shiny new toys, I guess. Well, we not, maybe not here specifically, but this area. What can you build? That is the question. What was that? Press A to upgrade the tower. Alright, so that's what the gold is for. Uh, we upgrade... Well, we can upgrade browns to level 1 if we had a thousand gold and one... whatever that thing is underneath the uh, gold icon. Come see. That is a very big bellows. Look at this, then select to tell Chiplet what you wish to build. I'm guessing this is that forge you were talking about. Master must bring treasure and minions to Chiplet. They Chiplet can build. So we just basically have the basic armor and wish weapons. To change something? The minion axe, the minion helmet, and the minion armor. I'm assuming once I get access to newer resources and the like, 
I'm able to upgrade more powerful. But they will be big, so big. Better weapons. So. Okay. Uh, I don't think this area is as large as the other area was. So let's head back to the throne. So I'm guessing that's the explore the explore the netherworld quest. Yeah, so it says explore the foundations, explore the minion burrows, explore the private quarters, explore the netherworld, use your throne. Now what? I know this place may be a little uh, upside down, but it's all yours, sire. Use the interface again, I guess. Alright, so the remaining quest that I have is a Norbergarian request an the audience. They have to clean their sporting pit before you go down there, Master. Appreciate that. Alright, so since we just started, we have neither regions nor gates available, and the only quest is a Norber uh, Norbergarian request an audience. We also don't have any tasks. I believe this is going to be the next storyline quest, have you here, Lord. in which the require somebody shows up from Norberg and uh, attempts to curry our favor, and I'm guessing allows us access Just to somewhere where we probably shouldn't be. Enough, Would you like but that is going to be an issue for next time, because I'm going to call it here. Everybody stay safe from the plague and um, have a good day.